Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here. And you are very welcome, my friends. Do you respect Waman? Do you? Do you, do you, do you? Because if you don't, the SJWs are coming after you. Good evening, everyone. Captain Marvel has 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. The reviews are pretty positive, right? But it's all about the wording. What I would say is it comes to something when a cat outperforms a lead actor. Pretty bad, isn't it? Pretty embarrassing. So the tracking is so mixed up because some people are talking about 60 to 100 million, some people are talking about 145 to 165 billion. Who knows what's going to happen? But don't get fooled what the key element of this is. The key element is the second weekend drop-off. How big how steep will that be? I believe it's going to be very, very steep. And that's the key element. You can talk about big weekends, but we're talking about domestic here, of course, because we don't really know what's going to happen globally. Uh, that's a really interesting element as well. Um, but yeah, I think the thing you need to keep your eye on here. So basically, the eye on the prize isn't the opening. It's how much it falls on the second weekend and as I feel if it is like a big drop off then it's a failure but of course we have to see what the global is now you've got to be careful here because all these shield sites will plug whatever comes in as massive no one's going to say this film has underperformed they won't they'll just tell you this is a really big film for female leads but it's not though is it it's not a big film We've already had we've already had Wonder Woman, you know. We've we've had so many female-led films through the, the kind of inception of Hollywood. I mean, Jesus Christ, Scarlett O'Hara, Vivian Lee in Gone with the Bloody Wind. That's got to be the most successful, most acclaimed female-led movie ever. But 21st century Hollywood are pretending that film never happened. Is there anyone? as beautiful, stunning, and as talented as Vivian Lee in the history of Hollywood. Now, some of you kids don't know who Vivian Lee is. You don't know what Gone with the Wind is. She was the original strong female, right? No one fucked with that woman. She was amazing. Go and watch Gone with the Wind. There's no CGI in it, but she gives a really powerful performance. But Brie Larson and Disney and Marvel Studios and Kevin Feige will have you believe that Captain Marvel is some kind of groundbreaking incident. We know it's not. But, as I say, in between, even when you look at the re reviews, you've got to look at the wording. You've got to look, Some critic on Twitter actually said this. It's the most powerful facial performance he's ever seen in a movie. Facial performance. It's all in the wording. The looking saint... They're looking for something to say that's positive um, without hanging themselves out to dry. I would say when you say something like that, you're really getting yourself in trouble. You see, SJWs are the gift that keep on giving. Um, and so they're trying to paint this bright picture. But it's, it, is, it is a lot, a lot like a fascist state, especially with what's happened with Rotten Tomatoes. Everyone's trying to pretend that Captain Marvel is this brilliant feminist agenda right it's this brilliant feminist movie and it's going to lead to to other things because we've never had female-led movies before i just i think it is funny though how this generation of hollywood creatives this generation of hollywood women have forgotten all about gone with the wind you must have heard of the bloody film and for me that says everything that is the biggest, most successful film ever. Oh, sorry, are you going to tell me that it's, it's never made as much money as a Marvel movie? That's because back in Gone with the Wednesday, they didn't have IMAX screens and 3D screens and about 100,000 picture houses all over America, right? So we know that. You can't compare that box office to this. But let me tell you something. You take um, Captain Marvel over to the year that was done, 1935, was it? Something like that, I can't remember. You released Captain Marvel at the same weekend 
and it's gone with the wind and see what happens, right? You have um, Brie Larson going out publicly and talking about white dudes. But let's not be unfair. Let's kind of, uh, let's give Vivian Lee a time machine, right? So she comes in 2019 and they release Gone with the Wind. We've never heard of it before. We look at Vivian Lee, tall, beautiful, stunning, elegant when she talks, a great performance, a great movie. Who's going to win that battle? Brie Larson? Little Brie Larson? Or Vivian Lee with her breadth and her strength and her screen presence? It's so funny. It's just so funny to see this. And um, it, we do live in a time where we can't trust a movie critic anymore. We live in a time where we can't trust pundits and sites anymore because it's all a sham. The whole thing is not a shazam, a sham. Nobody has the guts to review a Disney movie properly anymore. And this is the problem. So there's no accurate critical media anymore. There's no honest critical media anymore. It's just people talking about a film with some flashing lights and a half-baked story and calling it the best thing ever, an important film. Captain Marvel is an important, isn't an important film. In 12 months, you and I won't even be talking about it anymore. I'm going now.